Hi guys, welcome back again for another session with Malit Official. Today I'll be demonstrating a new feature which will be available soon in the future Windows 10 updates. That is the Windows Sandbox. Most of the users and IT professionals have a fear of installing unknown or known softwares to the PC environment, which may lead for corruption of their PC or unwanted slowness for their PC environment. With the upcoming Windows Sandbox option, your fear will be gone. So let's get started. I will show how the process takes place. Please note that this feature is only available for Pro and Enterprise users only. For now, the users who have signed in for Windows 10 Inside Updates will be having this feature to be enabled. To be precise, uh, Windows 10 Release 18.3.0.9. So uh, we have to go to Control Panel. Just click on the Start menu and type Control Panel. Or those who have created shortcuts on their desktop, then can click on that. After going to the Control Panel, you have to click Programs and Features. After clicking Programs and Features, you have to select Turn Windows Features on and off. And when you scroll down, you can see the Windows Sandbox option. So if the tick is not there, please enable the tick so that the feature will be installed on your PC. It takes several minutes according to your environment and internet facility. So after that, uh, it will be prompting you to restart your PC. Please do restart your PC so that it will be provinced on your computer. It will take several minutes to restart but I have fast forward this video so that uh, I can do it a quick one. So after restarting you can click start menu and type sandbox. You can see the feature is enabled. Click enter and you will be prompt to give administrative authentication. As you see on the top right hand, uh, these are the minimum requirements to run Windows Sandbox and as well as the recommended specifications. As you can see, it differs from computer to computer the loading time. So now you can see it's a virtual machine, but a temporary virtual machine to test your uh, softwares in this environment. So as you can see, all the network connectivity and all the peripherals needed to run as a Windows PC is available over here. So to check my network connectivity is working, I will just type Google and see whether it's working. Uh, I'll type over here. See it's take loading from different internet facilities. Yeah, now the virtual machine has internet or the Windows sandbox. So what I'll do is I need to download Mozilla Firefox and I'll show you it's an instance only. It can be your personal uh, developed software or a third party software which is not sure for you to install on your PC. So what I will do is as I have not installed the Mozilla Firefox on my PC, I will show what and how the process is done. So I will run this software and after running it takes several minutes to install it differs from your internet connectivity so after running while the software is installing i will show how the virtual sandbox is created the hard disk and st stuff as you can see it has created a 38 gb hard disk and you can see no files are available it's a fresh pc so all the instances changes from whatever you do so while it's installing as you can see it creates shortcuts and install as it is intended to be installed on a PC so after that I will show this file is working I will double click on Mozilla Firefox as you can see it has installed only in the environment of the Windows sandbox not in my PC so from this I can decide whether the PC is safe for me to install and if some error or some environment issues comes we can detect it so let's see so this is the application running inside the Windows sandbox so after that I will show you I will close this program so after closing the Firefox, I'll refresh this PC and then when I start 
closing the window sandbox it will be prompting that all the things what I have done will be lost so I'll click again start and open Windows sandbox again do the administrative authentication then after several minutes again it's load as a fresh PC or a fresh virtual sandbox so you can work again so there is no harm for your PC environment what happens on the sandbox stays on the sandbox so thanks for watching this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get alerts of my future videos